In today's story joke, we take a wild ride into the world of the tipsy breathalyzer. Ah, the wild ride of breathalyzer history. A journey filled with tipsy husbands, colorful chemistry, and one heck of a catchy name, the Druncometer. Back in 1927, while the rest of the world was busy, well, being sober, housewives were playing detective with W.D. McNally's mystical invention. It was like a real-life game of Clue, except instead of Colonel Mustard in the library, it was Mr. Smith with a whiskey on his breath. Rolla N. Harger took the baton in 1931 and ran with it, giving us the legendary drunkometer. Picture this, a contraption straight out of a mad scientist's lab, complete with bubbling beakers and a funky color-changing reaction. It was less scientific breakthrough and more cocktail party trick, but hey, it got the job done. Then, in 1958, along came Robert Frank Borkenstein, the breathalyzer wizard extraordinaire. Armed with a photometer and a sprinkle of potassium dichromate, he turned drunk detection into an art form. Suddenly, knowing your blood alcohol content was as easy as checking the weather forecast, sunny with a chance of sobriety. And just like that, the breathalyzer became the unsung hero of responsible drinking, the silent judge of boozy bashes everywhere. But let's not forget where we started. From makeshift chemistry sets to sleek keychain accessories, it's been one heck of a tipsy journey. So here's to progress, to innovation, and to never leaving home without your trusty breathalyzer. Because in a world where everyone's a designated driver, a little extra caution never hurt anyone. Cheers to staying safe and staying silly, one breathalyzer at a time. Hold on to your hats and buckle up, folks. If you think a breathalyzer's got tricks, wait till you meet this guy. Get ready for a roller coaster of laughter that'll make your head spin faster than a bartender shaking up a cocktail. Except this time, it's the kind of high spirits that'll leave you in stitches. Outside a bustling bar, Officer Murphy lurked in the shadows eyes peeled for any sign of trouble. Officer Murphy was planning on giving the word entrapment a brand new meaning. And trouble wasn't hard to spot. Cue our star of the evening, stumbling out of the bar like a drunken giraffe on roller skates. This guy was a walking disaster, weaving through the parking lot like a pinball bouncing off bumpers. First, he tried to unlock every car except his own as if testing out his own tipsy game of find the keys. Eventually, he hit the jackpot and stumbled into his car. But wait, the show was just getting started. With the grace of a baby elephant on ice, he flicked switches like a DJ at a rave. Lights on, lights off, wipers going wild. It was like his car was having its own tipsy dance party. Just when you thought the circus act was over, he decided to test his off-road skills and took a detour onto the grass. The officer watched, equal parts amused and bewildered, wondering if he stumbled into a live-action comedy show instead of a stakeout. But then, in a move that even had the officer questioning reality, the man pulled out onto the road, the lone survivor in the parking lot. The officer pounced, flicking on his lights like a kid at a light switch rave. Expecting to uncover a blood alcohol level that could power a small country, the officer whipped out the breathalyzer. But lo and behold, the reading came back as sober as a Sunday morning church service, 0.00. The officer was dumbfounded, muttering about faulty equipment and cosmic conspiracies. But our hero had the ultimate punchline up his sleeve. With a grin witter than the Grand Canyon, he confessed, Tonight, officer, I'm the designated decoy. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.